Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. This is Monica and I'm doing monthly readings for February. And this one's going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So welcome. Keep in mind these are general. So take what resonates, disregard the rest. Be sure to watch all your signs, your Sun, your Moon, your Rising, and your Venus. And of course, if you like a private reading specific to just you, that information is in the description box below. Thank you very much for your support. Like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't, and thank you if you have. There are also weekly readings in a playlist on the channel. They are timeless, so you can watch them, watch them whenever you feel drawn to, because there will be a message for you there. I can't talk. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's just jump in here, see what's going on for Capricorn in the month of February 2022. What's in store for Capricorn in the month of February 2022? There we go. The Empress, the Six of Cups, someone's getting pregnant, Capricorn. You have this in your weekly reading, the latest one I did. The Empress, Six of Cups. The tower. You yeah, got that too. I'm telling you. The seven of wands. The hermit. Ace of wands. The chariot. And the page of cups. Bottom of the deck. The four of pentacles. Alright, so that scenario is out the way. I'm putting it out there. If you want this to happen, congratulations. You know what to do. And if you don't, just take extra precautions. Because there is some sort of a night of passion going on here that can lead to a pregnancy. Putting it out there. Right. But it, obviously it's not for everybody. Um, overall messages here. Four of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is a focus on stability, saving money, putting money aside. Um, you could be getting money and it, it, it restores your financial stability. There's also an energy of holding on to something. And with the chariot there, there might be some controlling tendencies here, whether it's you or someone else. You could be saving for something, saving for a house because you want to move with the tower crowning you. Or if something happens, it's an unexpected expense and you're focused on putting together a budget so that you can stabilize yourself again, all right? Now, if you have been searching for a job Searching for a job or applying for loans, whether it's, you know, for business, mortgage, I don't know, to buy something, make a big item purchase. Because there's you, you're coming from a time of searching. Searching, trying, applying, trying to figure it out, okay? What's in the foundation is the Seven of Wands. You've been really fighting for something. Or you've been trying to keep your head above water with that Seven of Wands. A lot of stuff coming out at the same time, maybe multiple expenses, maybe everyone you know, wanting a, a piece of you, a piece of your time, your money, your resources, and you've had to get really strict because it's something that was depleting you. Currently, you have the Empress. Now, you're sitting pretty. This is growth and expansion when it comes to money or love. This is Venus energy. You're starting to receive, okay? This is where you receive money, attention, opportunities, what you've been looking for, applying for, striving for, fighting for, you're now starting to see the results of that. Your challenge, we have the Six of Cups. It could be to do with something or someone from your past. That's a challenge. Or it could be you being nostalgic or you focusing on emotional matters when Actually, there's a lot going on when it comes to money that you need to pay attention to. There could be something along those lines. I'm also seeing this as trying to revive something. That could be a challenge for you as well. That was previously blocked. I feel like, this is what it feels like. It feels like you have been striving to get yourself in a stable position to be able to go back to something and revive it or make it better. Crowning you, we have the tower. So either you're very uh, impulsive right now, uh, or you're thinking about moving, or you're thinking about what fell apart that you're trying to revive. Now in the near future here, we have the Ace of Wands taking action towards a new beginning. 
chariot, it might involve traveling or just taking charge of a situation, not taking no for an answer. Page of Cups, to speak your mind, your heart, uh, make an offer to a water sign potentially, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or this could be what's coming in towards you. Flip it and reverse it as it makes sense, right? Because someone has been working very hard. There has been a separation, not seeing anyone, not talking to this person, not seeing them. Uh, you might have blocked them. They, they blocked you, you blocked each other. And this is where someone says, I want to be stable. I want to grow up. I want to stabilize myself in, the, in my energy. I want to know what I want, make sure I know what I want before I go back to revive what has fallen apart in the past. And I hope it's well received and I get a second chance, okay? Whether that's you or someone else. For others of you, I do have to be honest, okay? I do see a scenario where something fell apart you broke up with someone and now someone finds out they're pregnant and they're reaching out to that person. They're reaching back out to that person. And it can be, it can lead to a new beginning within a relationship because there's still love there, but for whatever reason, it didn't work out prior. There might have been commitment issues. There might have been control issues. I don't know. However, um, because of a pregnancy, because of a child, completely unexpected, unplanned, reaching back out to the person and there could be a new beginning in that connection where you start to develop it because you both want this. And it's like it's that new life is more important than whatever pride and ego was going on that wrecked the connection last time, okay? Um, for those of you, I am seeing travel and relocation. If that's what that is, you've been saving money, your money's coming in, you're reaching your financial goals to move, to take that trip. Could be very long distance. Or like I say, you're getting yourself in a position where you wanna to propose to someone and you wanna be in a position where you can be a good provider. Could be something like that as well. If you've been searching for a job and applying and applying and applying and getting rejected, I feel like, but you persevered, right? I feel like you're now starting to hear from all the stuff that you applied to prior. And it may have been stuff that you applied to or even interviewed for like six weeks ago or even up to six months ago, right? Between that time frame, And you're getting multiple offers with the Empress completely unexpected, but it's down to you to choose the one that is best for you, right? What's this tower crowning you? Five of Swords, King of Pentacles. Yeah, there's been a lot of arguments and back and forth. If it's a connection because someone wouldn't commit, because someone had trust issues, there's been a lot of bitterness there. When you stop talking to each other, it wasn't, pl it wasn't ple pleasant and it wasn't pretty, okay? There was a big blow up you even said, you know, I never want to see you again in my life. I don't want to say, I wish you were dead, but that's what I heard in my head. Okay, so something very drastic, very hurtful was said. And I was like, okay, well, you know, you know when we had that breakup or that explosion or, you know, yeah, well, this happened. So, yeah, sorry. <laughs> or something like that, you know. Or this is just saying, you had to be very almost like cutting to get that job or to get that promotion or to get that money, right? This is like, take no prisoners, five of swords in, in the chariot is like, I don't, I'm at a point where I can't afford to think about anyone else but myself. What's the outcome here with the ace of wands, the chariot and the page of cups, the king of cups, the two of wands and the queen of cups, yeah. Definitely reconciliation here. We have the devil under the four of pentacles and the two of swords. There were, if it's the case of a reconciliation, there were a lot of control issues here. There were a lot of control issues. Someone might have been controlling in terms of using their money, right? I make more money than you, therefore you should just do what I want. There was a very skewed view on that relationship and the roles within the relationship and what 
people should and shouldn't do, what people deserve or not deserve, right? There has been a, as a result of that breakup and separation, everyone, you know, you both have gone to your respect, respective corners and it triggered an inward journey. It triggered a conversations with yourself like what the hell is my problem right what are my issues why do i keep doing that you someone else both of you that's the energy there has been a coming full circle someone grew up basically right you them both of you someone grew up here and they want to make it right if it's a case of apologizing for what happened and can we be friends or a case of apologizing, can we rekindle? Okay? Because whatever the, the issues were, they have com completely crumbled. Someone has broken a cycle. Someone has broken a pattern of control or addiction of some sort. they're a lot more stable within themselves now. They grew up. And they're trying to restore, rekindle a partnership that was very loving. It was very loving. But pride, ego, control, someone's addiction got in the way. They have overcome that, whether it's you or the other person, and they're trying to restore that connection. And I see a lot of love here, so, I mean, I think it's going to work. Eight of Wands, Three of Swords, yeah, and the Page of Wands. A lot of messages in the Ten of Cups. A lot of messages apologizing for the breakup. It's at a distance currently, so we will start online, someone reaching out, and if they get, uh, if the communication is welcome, then it can be developed from there. Yeah, look, to turn the Ten of Swords into the Ten of Cups again. So very much reconciliation energy here. For others of you, I am seeing moving, relocation, travel is, is significant. I'm seeing a new relationship. And it can be because of a child, because of a pregnancy, new or renewed relationship here. And uh, for others, it can it's a choice. Someone from the past is coming back or something from the past is coming back and something more recent and you have a choice to make. Or like I say, it's a bunch of offers hitting you at the same time because whatever was delayed is now full speed ahead and you're hearing from everyone that you talk to or apply to and you have a choice to make. And you're gonna have to make the one that's best for you. All right, either way, I mean, it looks amazing. It looks amazing. So you're gonna have to tell me what this is, Capricorn. And if it does resonate with you, whatever part of it, I hope the reading helps you, okay? So I'll leave that with you. Have a fantastic month. Looks like it, or it's possible anyway. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.